Dog in Boots, written and illustrated by Paula Metcalf. Philip has a new neighbour, Penelope. She has kind eyes, a waggy tail, and the most beautiful smile. Just to go for a walk with her would make me the happiest dog in the world. But there is a slight problem. While Penelope looks very tall... Philip is not. In fact, his legs are so short, his ears sweep the floor when he walks. On his daily trip to the cafe with his best friend Ralph, Philip admits his worries. How will Penelope ever love me? I'm too tiny to kiss her, even on tiptoes. On their way home, in the late afternoon sun, Philip sees something that makes his heart leap and gives him a fantastic idea. Ralph, I'm going to make myself taller. Will you help? The next day, they try to work out how that might happen. Stretch! Without, it must be said, a great deal of success. Hmm. Until finally... Hey, Ralph, I think we're on to something. Later, Philip makes his way to Penelope's. He holds his head high, takes a deep breath and... Penelope, there's something I've been longing to say. Squirrels! Booms a voice from under the tablecloth. And before Philip has a chance to say another word, he lurches away at breakneck speed. <laughs> Bye then! Whoa! Help! Ralph, stop! When the chase is finally over, Philip glares at his friend. Remind me never to ask you for your help ever again, he snaps. Later that night, Philip cannot get a wink of sleep. He loves Penelope so much, but what on earth must she think of him now? Suddenly, his thoughts are interrupted by the doorbell. Uh-oh, it's Ralph. And even more troubling, it's Ralph with a plan. We're not giving up, Philip. Penelope will love you, especially when she sees how sweet you can be. Actually, the plan turns out to be rather fabulous. A message to Penelope on the side of Philip's house. It will be the first thing she sees when she opens her curtains in the morning. Philip wakes up early and stares impatiently out of his window. He can't wait for his love to see what he has written. Penelope, you smell of roses. Your eyes are like pools of chocolate. I am mad about you. Eventually, Penelope's curtains swish open. Penelope, you smell. Your eyes are like poo. I am mad. But her reaction is not what he expects. To Philip's horror, tears begin to roll down her nose. Penelope is crying. All Philip wants to do is go and comfort Penelope, but he cannot let her see how short he really is. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Ralph, help! 
Ralph tells Philip to meet him at the shops. He has another amazing plan. Flowers, exclaims Philip when he meets his friend. This plan is good. Ralph shakes his head. No, Philip, not flowers. Boots. Then all we'll need is a pot of glue and some newspaper. Soon, Philip understands. Well, <laughs> I can see for miles. Ralph, you are a genius. Now Philip feels more than ready to go and comfort his love. Philip is wobbly on his new legs, so leans against Ralph for support. Why are you so sad, Penelope? Penelope points up at his house and replies, What do you expect? No, it's not supposed to say that. Don't worry, cries Ralph. I'll fix it. And in a flash, he's gone to close the shutter, leaving Philip alone. Alone and wobbly. <laughs> No, ah, splat! With as much grace as he can manage, Philip heads home. Poor Philip. He is so upset he feels like he can never leave his house again. But he should not cry. If only he would look out of his window, he would see something very unexpected. Penelope smiling and wagging her tail. And the reason Penelope is so happy? She has short legs too. Penelope has loved Philip since the first time she saw him through his window. But he had looked so tall. She thought she would never be able to kiss him not even on tiptoes. Now she knows the truth. Knock, knock. Philip can't believe his eyes when he opens his door. <gasps> I don't understand, he gasps. Over a cup of tea, Penelope explains herself, and then she asks Philip a very important question. Will you make me the happiest dog in the world and come for a walk with me? I'd absolutely love to, grins Philip. And so they do.